Hello again and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a small hollow form um, and this has really been inspired by um, somebody that I'm sure needs no introduction to you, Sam Angelo, the Wyoming woodturner. And I will put a link to um, Sam's channel in the description below. Um, I've watched Sam for many years and I've, as you are aware I'm sure, I do love making goblets and, and, and boxes. So there is obviously um, small hollowing to be done. Well, I did a review, as you know, of, of the Hope um, Easy Arm system and the 6mm pro, uh, carboid pro tool uh, from Simon Hope um, a little while ago. And while they're brilliant for the bigger um, hollowing jobs that we have, when you're doing something about four or five inches, it really is a little large for, for that sort of a... Um, I mean, it'll do the job, but it's a bit ungainly. So I've had my eye on the, uh, the Hope Mini Halloween uh, set and um, after a, a quick word with my wife and after a bit of uh, pondering um, I got my Christmas present early this year and it comes in a nice little box and it is a 10mm uh, stainless steel bar the handle um, is oh, the handle's about 9 inches so it's great for the small hollowing stuff like goblet bowls, boxes and indeed small hollow forms. Um, it comes with the um, 6mm carboid uh, cutter which is, as you know, a brilliant piece of kit. Um, and two grub screws to um, put the blade in and it also comes with a hook tool. And the nice feature here is that the, um, the cutter is set at 45 degrees. So when you go in to undercut and to do that, that area which is difficult on hollow forms, that does the job and the cutters at the optimum angle. So it's a really good bit of kit, nice soft grip handle. Um, so I'll be putting that through its paces today on, on this small hollow form. Um, a bit of a luxury I do appreciate, but really and truly it is for, for smaller stuff. Um, I mean, I use this now for my goblet bowls and everything, brilliant. Okay, um, I've got a piece of cherry here which I found. Um, I didn't even know I'd forgotten even ha even had it. Um, it's a really weird shape, so we're going to get something. Um, I found the centre on both both sides because they're different different sizes. It's going to give me a form at about three three and a quarter inches in diameter, and I'll be doing a really, or well, for me anyway, a small entry hole, and we'll see how we go from there. So that'll be interesting, and that is dry. Um, the moisture we just saw in six percent, which is drier than most of the stuff that I uh, that I turn. So it's really dry. Okay. Without further ado, we'll pop across to the lathe and we'll uh, attempt to to produce a hollow form, a small hollow form. So I've got the piece in between centres. I'm going to turn it around, establish a tenon um, <clears throat> on this end, so I can spin it around and put it into the four jaw chuck. I'm using a spindle roughing gauge. I don't think it will cause a problem so I'm just going to put some thin CA glue on there <clears throat> to hopefully sort that out and uh, I'll come back with that dry. Well you've got a massive crack there <clears throat> so I'm going to take it down to there.
Okay, I've had to uh, apply some more CA glue, but I'm not going to be deterred. Okay, so I've changed to the uh, the hook tool now. Now you always want to make sure that the straight part of the bar is on the rest, otherwise it tends to go this way. <coughs> Excuse me. The um, the the hole is about um, three quarters of an inch, and I think we'll keep it there. So what we're going to try and do now is to um, go to about this area with the hook tool and then we'll be able to get in with the straight tool go back to the straight tool and carry on down the vessel um, another great tip from um, from Sam Angelo the Wyoming wood turner this is made of two strands of two mil wire because I couldn't get four mil wire patted that together if you like and then with a couple of uh, blobs of uh, CA glue on the end to make it nice and smooth it gives me a gauge as I'm going down the vessel and um, it'll give me an indication onto the width of the thickness of the balls okay so we'll carry on and again um, at about 1300 revs I'm just working on this area now nice and easy in and nice light cuts and just working your way nice and gently with um, with this shape here I've got a little bit under there so I want to bring that round just a little bit um, we'll use the spindle gauge 3 8 spindle gauge and I just want to sort of bring that to make that lip a little see very very fine little angel heads so you can do your refining with that as well it's fair to say that virtually any edge that you put up at 45 degrees is going to give you a fairly nice uh, um, a good shear cut now got a fairly even wall thickness all the way through I'm not going to chance because these 
uh, cracks here actually go through to the inside, although it looks as if the CA is actually seeped through, uh, but I don't want to take any chances. So I'm leaving it sort of <coughs> about there, hollow wise. So I'll bring that down a little bit more and um, then I'll sand and finish and I'll come back when I'm putting the finish on. Okay, I've sanded up to 320 grit, I've applied Yorkshire grit and I've worked that in for about two or three minutes. It's nice and smooth. I've now got a clean uh, paper towel and I'm just going to um, take off any residual. Now I must say that this uh, little cherry hollow form has been a bit of a bit of a bugger to be honest with you with the cracking and everything else but nevertheless it was too nice to uh, to give up on. So now I'm going to put on wood wax 22 and a nice coating working into the into the brain. Just keep moving it around and I'm just giving a final buff on the second coat of wax. And I think he's come up quite well. Quite pleased with the shape. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is to part him off down here, making sure there are those two cracks, by the way, and those cracks follow through onto the lip. But um, I fill those, and they've held. So, and that aspect of it looks rather nice. So, yeah, quite pleased. So we'll get the parting tool now and part off, remembering to. Have an undercut so that it sits nicely. Okay. light little hollow form. I'll come back when I've just done up off and sanded the bottom. Okay so here's the finished hollow form. It's about three and a quarter inches high uh, by about three inches um, across at its widest point. Uh, the entry hole is just under three quarters of an inch and the wall thickness uh, from the um, entry hole down to about here is um, just over an eighth of an inch and I left it a bit thicker down the bottom here because of the cracking there. Okay so I'm very pleased with how it's come out it looks rather nice nice figuring on the on the cherry um, and the Simon Hope um, mini hollowing set did itself proud and did a great job and was a pleasure to use. I'll put a link down below to um, both Sam Angelo, the Wyoming wood turner, for the inspiration on getting involved in hollow forms in the first place, and indeed to Simon's website as well. Well, thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.